Hi, Mr. Shabir. Uh, I'm curious, what would a university's proper response in dealing with nonviolent hate speech be? In dealing with non well, I mean, we have to define hate speech. So one of the big problems with hate speech is that it has a completely fluid definition. Sometimes it just means me saying biological sex exists, and sometimes it means Nazis marching around on campus in rare occasions. So, so what, what are we talking about? So someone drawing something like uh, something racist on a wall, someone deems it like really offensive or maybe violent, but it's not directed toward anyone specifically. Well, I mean, I think that universities do have a right to determine whether a person is fit to be on their campus, but I'm very leery, I'm very leery of, of saying that racist speech, for example, is a reason to kick somebody off campus. I think it's, I think it's a very, it's, it's a dangerous problem. It, it really runs a foul of First Amendment principles to me. And again, I think people who do that are disgusting and horrible, and I think that that's a bad social strategy if you want to have friends or, or have a decent life. But I think that if the university starts determining what speech it likes and what speech it doesn't, and then starts banning people based on which speech it likes and which speech it doesn't, that's a, that's a pretty dangerous power, and uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a content-based power. Okay, uh, that answers my question. Thank you.